Alright, hello everyone, welcome back to Pokemon Coliseum. I think this is gonna be our last, like, run through of the deep web, whatever this is called. Hopefully we have enough supplies. The deep Coliseum. I don't know why, why do they call it the deep web? I, there's something wrong with me, but in any case. Yeah, because this is, um... I think this is the last round. We'll, we'll find out. Maybe, maybe not. Maybe we're just here forever. That'd be... I was gonna say pretty cool, but it wouldn't be. <clears throat> At the end, the big fan's gonna drop and fall on us. Neon. Alright, what do you got for us, Neon? Ryder Nalon. I don't know why I just keep saying your name. It's a good commentary. Okay, I don't know... Reflect isn't going to help against these two Pokemon, I don't think. So we'll just switch, like, Espeon to Baker Attacks. Uh, not Skarmory, because we need to purify that eventually, right? Ambion, uh, hopefully this just takes out the shuffle. Like, I kind of think maybe Ryko would be a better switch. For the horsey, I was thinking about it, but I don't know how much damage um the Skarmory's gonna take here. So I thought that would be smarter. Ninkata. Is Ninkata concerning? Like, see that's not a nothing amount of damage. I'll go over the horsey first, just, I don't know if that's the right move or not, but... Oh, okay, well, Underground's gonna be putting in the work here, I guess. Skarmory is not. And what do you got for us? Okay, five damage. Don't get an accuracy drop. Okay, that is actually kind of problematic, but... Skarmory will attack, you know, because of the accuracy drop, we'll switch um, Umbreon back into Espeon. And Skarmory can go Sicko mode here. Okay, almost half on a crit. I mean, that's... Given the level difference, it's not actually that bad. Is it gonna be... Yeah. I kind of just wanted Espeon to get the experience too. At this point, we will just attack into it, I'm sure. Yeah, Espeon will just hit three, so it doesn't even matter. Pretty cool. Pretty good fight. At the very least, I didn't waste a bunch of time, like, stalling, which means it's not as fun, but you know, we, we gotta get through these fights at some time span. Well, you're gonna return when I'm not here anymore, because hope- oh, well, maybe that's not true. But hopefully this is the last time I'm in this place, this god forsaken. Because I don't know why I'm so aggressive here, but... Oh, what's- what's your deal, Vorge? I'm trying to think of a good pun on, like, with it being large, but my brain is kind of, like, rejecting it on principle. Okay. This is really a good, um, matchup for Umbreon here. Espeon, once again, we'll switch into Skarmory just to uh, take some sort of hits. Cadaver, I think, is scarier, so we'll go after Cadaver first. And, but once again, not really expecting any physical attacks, so I don't think um, setting up a reflect would at this point be super useful. Especially if Umbreon can just one shot everything, too. I guess maybe taking the Mistrevis out would be smarter, because then we could bring Espeon back in immediately. Although the Seedra is here, so we may want to have Raikou in at some point. 
yeah, we're going on the uh, mistreavus to start out just in case. Seeger is already faster, so that literally does nothing. Hopefully that's on the skirmer. Yeah, perfect. Four times effective, I do not care. Oh, that is a problem though. Can you finish it, please? Thank you. Perfect. Okay, I said we do want to, um... Huh. Kecleon's gonna be interesting. Maybe we'll take on the Kecleon here just because? What happens if you hit it with a Shadow move, actually? That's a good question. Well, we won't find out, I guess. Yeah, Raikou hopefully will help with the... Whatever that is, I forget. <laughs> is it a Kingdra? Although, I think maybe the Dragon Trick will cancel out. Okay, so... Well. Yeah, we will just go after the Sea Trick here. Do you think playing Echo is great play here? Hang on there, Echo. Oh, okay, well, I mean, Umbreon can handle the Seedra pretty well. And so can Raikou, probably. Yeah, alright. You know what, you're out here, Raikou, so you can probably help with uh, the Kecleon. Or not? Well, a good time is any for, um, bringing us beyond Daiko, I guess? Being a dark type right now is kind of unhelpful. So we're gonna return it so we can hit it. And yeah, we will just confuse ray it here so we don't uh, run into any issues on that front. Yeah, return's not doing as much because I keep force feeding Espeon herbal medicine, which I mean I can relate to, but. Okay, microphone is having issues, but hopefully that's good. And now hopefully we can just sting out. Alright. Pretty smooth sailing so far, but that can change. I mean, it's usually smooth up until it's not, you know? I was going to say up until the end, but I decided to go with a less memorable statement, because of who I am as a person. Okay, Lorge. Alright, who's the next filler fight? Come on, semi-finals. Let's go, let's have at it. Some guy. Bronze? How did they come up with these names, like, honestly? Hunter Bronze. What do you got? Micro and Relicant. Once the time? Oh, no, I think Reflect could play a part here. Also, is Relicant just water? We'll reflect, and I don't have an immediate answer for Micro, so we will confuse it. I guess, I mean, Electric attack would probably help. But. How much is that gonna do here? I mean. It's not a lot, but we might still wanna switch out anyways. I. I don't know what that- oh, cool. Okay. No, I still don't know what that means. What was that? That was weird. Oh, I- we might run into issues here, so I'll switch into... Raikou to attack the Marker correctly. And let's confuse Ray the Relicant, especially if it's gonna be using the two to... Oops. I should have seen that coming, honestly. Okay, that was, that was a big misplay on my end, but I don't know, but it's really avoidable. Okay, 
Yeah, is it a deep turn move that we're both out was using? I guess we'll find out. I guess we won't find out. Honestly, Marco is the bigger issue here, so we'll take Paul and go after it here first. Alright, good, good. Smart Rogan. And then I think we go after the Relicant. I'm hoping it's on ground type. Is it? It's on ground water. I mean, if it is, Raikos aren't gonna play too big a role anyways. Mono Wild. Theoretically scary, but I don't know if... Hopefully that's not a mistake. We will confuse right the Mawile because it's also a Pokemon we're gonna have trouble with in terms of like types. Or is it just steel type? Can we send out MK and take care of it that way? Well, it's not not effective, it's effective. But it's not enough. Okay, I was using Skull Bash. Not so enough to take us out though. Is hanging on pretty well, and we're at the point where I think we can just go uh, violence mode. Hopefully, that just takes it up by itself, not even close. And then Sperm Ray, I mean, Ray Ryko could hit the um, Mawile, while, but that's not happening. And there's right. Reflect is reflect stop. I mean, we're gonna have the morning sun here anyways, but. Okay, there's reflect off. One morning sun here, and we will bite the relicant. Hopefully, it does more. Hopefully it takes it out here. It does, okay. So now we just have to worry about uh, Mawa. Alright, and I'm gonna just hope that we can just force it. If not, if Mawa dials, we'll send out NK. I mean, Hespion dies. Is it Dark type? Like, for Psychic, does Steel resist Psychic? I don't know my type chart at all, and it didn't die. Unfortunate. Is it oh, but it flinched, which is basically death. If you flinch, you're basically dead. Just like in real life. Alright, so next up is the Deep King, if I'm not mistaken, which is a very, um, suggestive name, I don't really appreciate it, but I guess we just fought groans here, so who am I to say? Alright, who are you, Deep King? I actually did not look this up, I don't know, spoiler. Is it not? It's not just an admin, is it? Who is that? I can't really see. What? Who is this? Agnol? Are you the Deep King? You're just a, the bodybuilder class in like a worse outfit. And you have a Shedinja too. Do we even go for the Shedinja? Like honestly... I feel like... Uh, we'll reflex first, and we'll bite. Uh, 
Uh, yeah, we'll take it out because it can die at any time, so I feel like otherwise it's going to be too big a hassle to try to like plan on them. So I was thinking Shedinja overall isn't very strong, so maybe it would have been a smart idea to take that, but... I mean, we could theoretically get in a situation where we don't have a counter to it and lose because of that. So it, maybe it's for the best to take it out while we can. Espeon, we'll switch out who we want to use here. Uh, we'll just use... Um, I mean, they're all special attackers. Let's just use Skirmory. It's cause... Umbreon will confuse Ray... Confuse Ray to Sableye, cause I think... The Giraffe Rig has... Actually, a screen, so that could cause us more issues. So, we'll look to take that out here first. And so, we'll confuse Ray the off with one with Sableye at some slower key, so that's gonna make it easier to manage. Yeah, you're very edgy. Well, Shadow Rush, yeah, we'll, now we'll just go after the Giraffe Rig, Graph Rig. We'll just lay into it here. Okay, that is... ...scarier. Who do we... Uh, maybe Raikou? Because of that? You know what, yeah, that's, that's probably a bad idea, but all I have are bad ideas, so let's just go. Let's see how much this does, honestly, first off. Well, it does over half, so... That's better. Well, I mean, we're gonna get confused right here, so... I guess what we'll do here, we'll switch into, uh, Espeon now. And then Umbreon can hopefully take out the Graph Rig. And then we can plan from there. Oh, okay. That is a really good switch on my end, then. And that's the Graph Rig gone. Yeah, Espeon can't touch the Sableye, so that's going to be a problem. And that also is not ideal. Okay, I think we just switch... Oh yeah, we definitely switch here. Espeon, we're going to switch to uh, Raikou is the better counter. And Umbreon, we will confuse Ray the Skarmory, because I don't see it going down quickly, at least not to bites. I mean, Raikou theoretically can take it out really quickly, but is Raikou going to actually be able to? Well, I mean, it's more just a matter of, like, Making sure Umbreon participates, contributes. Very deep sound effect there. Alright, oh, that's a problem too. So, what I want to do here. Well, the screens are off. Okay, that's actually going to help us now. So, we'll Fender the Skarmory, we'll pray there. And it's probably going to, yeah, they're going to attack it. So. We will energy rate it here, just to hopefully keep it alive long enough to get an attack or two off. Not quite a one shot, but please. Okay, not doesn't take itself out, but
Okay. Um, plan here now. We'll just attack into that, and we'll confuse Raid Sableye again. Hopefully Raikou lands it. Yes, it does. Maybe we should have, um, confused Raid into its slot? Only Pokemon does he have left. Kingja? Level 7, you kind of scary. Although we want to thunder it now, too, don't we? Honestly, I think the play here... Because Raikou's confused... No, we'll let Raikou die. Yeah, Kingdra's not confused yet. And then we'll revive her. We'll bring in um, Spookin and we will revive Raiko in the back. We're just kind of trying to slow him down at this point. I love how edgy Sableye's animations are. Now, revival her, back up Raiko. Umbreon's turn, we're going to. Uh, biting Sableye won't do as much. I think we'll bite the Kingdra. It's fast, but we won't get a flinch on it like we could on um, Sableye, but we can, uh, Morning Sun now, or Moonlight. Okay. Sweetland's turn, we're going to... Back up Espeon. And we'll confuse Ray back up the Sableye, I think. And then we'll heal Espeon. The fact that it outspeeds, though, means that, like, we're gonna have to use an item to heal. I mean, that's not too big. We got a lot of those healing items, so that's not really issue, just so we have priority. Once I think what we do here, Sweeten's turn, we energy rate Umbreon, then Umbreon's turn, we're going to bite, I think the weird Sableye would actually be pretty good here, so maybe we'll go for it. Especially if it's gonna miss. Well, let's see how much of this does. Oh, a whole bunch. Please. Ah, perfect. I kind of want him to take out uh, Sweeping so I can switch on um, uh, Raikou back in, but. Shackle. Oh, is this the. Okay, yeah, Shackle. Pretty cool. Pretty cool. Yeah, we'll surf here, because that shouldn't take it out, right? And then... Umbreon will just, uh, bite Kingdra. Maybe I should have confused Raid it, honestly. Yeah, because it's going after Umbreon, maybe when we want to use Umbreon this, we want to pivot out Umbreon. Let's see you. Yeah, like, here's my plan, actually. Okay, Umbre- uh, Shekel is here, too. Uh, Sweet Queen, we're gonna switch to 
Vicode. Over on, we're gonna confuse the Kingdra. And then on the next turn, we'll switch Umbreon into, uh, maybe Espeon. No, no. Well, they're gonna, uh, I Hydro Pump, so we wanna switch into a Pippet. So we'll switch it into, um, Skarmory. Because we should, it should see a kill too here on, um, Umbreon. Yeah, seven damage to Raikou, you're helping. So Raikou just under the Kingdra. Umbreon, we will just switch out. Skarmory is dead, right? How about Entei? Entei isn't gonna do anything in this fight, I don't think. Oh, perfect. And Raikou should hopefully take out the Kingdra here. It does not. Okay. Oh, but that's good though. Shuckle is also here. Okay. I'm gonna quick attack it and I'm with, um... Entei. I'm scared of attacking the Shuckle, so I'm actually just gonna Sunny Day. Okay, oh that didn't take it out, so that was a miscalculation on my end. I mean, that will help though with, um... Kingdra's potential attacks. Also, I should've just, um... Okay, that was kind of dumb on my end, but whatever. What are we gonna do here? Um... Raikou is going to spark the Kingdra on Entei's turn. We're going to just go ahead and start throwing balls around. As you do. I was kind of nervous about like catching, like I did know that the Deep King, whoever he was, had a Shadow Pokemon, so I was kind of nervous about trying to catch it here. But I guess that was unfounded. First catch, alright, I not what I was expecting, but I'll take it. Honestly, depending on how this goes, we might be able to just might be able to make through this as one video, hopefully, if it's, there's not too much whatever happening after. Alright, that was e significantly easier than I was expecting, which I will not complain about. Yeah, give me my money. Come on. I gotta walk out first, all dramatic like. Yeah, I took out the Deep King, stole his money. A hundred bucks, pretty cool. And we'll see, but I think this might be one video, so that's exciting. 39, so that's what? Um, is that nine to go out of the 48? I don't remember. My brain's putting. It's fine. We made it out. We won. We're done. We're clear. Let's not think about it anymore. That's my life advice.